Nothing to report. Okay. Yara, let me in. The private messages terminal has new correspondence. Thank you, Bluff. Anything here? Nope. Ooh. Email from Kaylee Sanders to David Anderson. David, you won't get this for a while unless you find an extranet connection working on Earth. I've made it out, out to this weapon we're building. The device isn't even halfway complete, and it's the most breathtakingly complicated piece of technology I've ever seen. I wish you could see this thing we're creating. It gives me hope. Take care, for my sake. Oh. Call from Kaylee Sanders to Jack. <laughs> hey, Sanders, checking on the kids? How are they, Jack? They'll do good. This is going to be long. Long? I kind of got, <laughs> got crap to do. <laughs> I wanted to t tell you I persuaded some Alliance friends to part with that biotic amp you and the children were testing at Grissom. You can pick it up on the Citadel. <laughs> one of those L3X1s? You know how, how much <laughs> I could tear up with one of those installed? I had an idea. Look after yourself. Yeah, yeah. And hey, thanks. <laughs> Prothean Notes. I'm not sure what to make of Javik. I approached him while we were traveling to a different system, but he wasn't very inclined to talk. What little he does say concerns the Reapers and our possible failure. Is he simply a soldier mourning his people, or is it a fundamental difference in our cultures? Huh. Did I ever look at this one? I think so, yeah. Alright. The Aura. It was odd to see an entire academy just for biotic children. Huh? Don't Asari have biotic schools? I would think so. Every Asari school includes biotic training programs. It's basic education. Huh. Still, those children in the academy were very impressive. I'm sure Jack's proud. <laughs> she seemed like it. Good to see you again, Shepard. Good to see you too. And let's go check with Garrus. Well. Come on. Algaris? One of the worst parts of this war is watching the kids react. If they're lucky, they grow up thinking the galaxy is basically a decent place. Some rough spots here and there, but for the most part, life makes sense. Now they find out it was all a lie. They wake up to see these things in the dark that just want to destroy everyone they ever cared about. If they survive, There'll be a lot of angry orphans out there looking for answers. Yeah, that's one of the unfortunate truths about this. Hmm, life just wouldn't have been complete if I didn't see Jack one more time. <laughs> it's nice to see she's downgraded from dangerous lunatic to mildly insane. Oh, yeah. You have to admit, though, she did see through Cerberus back in the day. Of course she I did. I might have even listened, but her tattoos gave me a headache every time she walked into the room. <laughs> oh, too many tattoos. Oh, no. <laughs> Looks like we beat Cerberus again. Do you think the elusive man fires lieutenants over failures like this, or just lines them up against the wall and gets it over with? Nah. Knowing him, probably the latter. I wish they had had a Grissom Academy for Turians when I was growing up. Always wanted to learn how to paint. Huh. Now I mostly paint walls with Reaper blood. Not the same, but it's a living. <laughs> it's a living. Another time, maybe. <laughs> Hey, Garrus, you want to throw the ball around? Another time, maybe. You want to go bowling? Another time, maybe. You want to go see a movie? Another time, maybe. <laughs> you, want, you want to play some poker? Another time, maybe. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just like doing that. I like that you can literally ask him anything, and he'll be like, eh, another time, maybe. <laughs> All right. Speaking of Javik... Let's go, let's go see if he has anything to say.
not here. Where is he? Oh, he's in the sub deck. He's where Jack was. Huh. Maybe he decided to go find out more about her in here. There he is. Commander, I was exploring your ship. Find anything interesting? One of your crew lived in this space. There are traces of anger. That was Jack. Anger was her specialty. Traces of her pain are still present. I'm told she sought revenge against Cerberus when she was here. Mm -hmm. A goal you helped fulfill. I hope you will do the same for me. Yep. At least I have better quarters. Huh. During our fight against the Reapers, we had no time for teaching the young anything but war. Huh. Only the foolish mourn the loss of innocence. It is inevitable. The galaxy has never rewarded the naive. Hmm. Not really sure I agree with that. But then again, we, we have to keep reminding ourselves that Javik grew up in a completely different time. In a completely different, uh, you know, with completely different circumstances. Commander. In a, a, a time that was much rougher, much more difficult. You can just imagine the, uh, what Javik has, has seen in his time. That has so, turned him into what he is. Edie's new body? Oh my gosh, yeah. Ken, you are not I bringing that up with her. I just mean, it's an amazing work of engineering. Oh my goodness, Plastic Donnelly. titanium silicon polymers, ultra light harmonic phased power Ken? cells. Mm -hmm. Shut up. <laughs> and if she ever oh, Gabby, I'm sorry. Ken, shut board, up. There's just so much padding. Ugh, I knew Ex it. <laughs> Wish I were a wall. Ugh. Pretty much are, Ken. Ixnay on the Arab Shay. Ugh, oh, Ken. Ugh, oh, Gabby, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Sometimes keeping the grid balanced is pure murder. Shepard. Ah, oh, man. Ken, you are. Ugh, oh, what you are. You are a knucklehead. Commander. Oh, man. Ugh. <laughs> oh. Ken, sometimes. Sometimes, man. Breaking now. A city of four million blasted from orbit. Adelaide, Australia is no more. New footage from wow. Earth reveals the Reapers' plans to attack large industrial centers. Which cities are next? Find out inside the battle space. Wow. She was reporting on a, on a city in Australia that got destroyed. Wow. That, that couldn't have been easy. Cerberus stealthily strikes star system shield. No, glad I read that one out loud. Huh. And last but not least, let's go down to the shuttle bay. working on the shuttle. Everything okay with the shuttle? Just double-checking the inertia dampener coils. It can be twitchy in these UT-47s. But don't worry. This bird's been rock solid. Do you ever get any sleep? Any rest? I always see you down here working your ass out. Ever take any downtime? I get my sleep, Commander. Flying tired is nearly worse than flying drunk. Yeah, that's What about your true. waking hours? Any R and R? Probably same for driving. I need to keep myself busy. Otherwise, well, too much time to think. Uh, too much time to think about who he's lost. Don't work too hard. I appreciate your dedication, but I don't want to see you burn out. Yeah, we don't need a burnout. I know my limits. I wouldn't take a chance with your life. So before this war, you must have done something to relax. Sure. I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus and I was just a fighter jock. There was this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. When I was alone, I'd turn off the auditory emulators and just watch them drift by in silence. You know, there were views like that on the Citadel. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Do it as a favor for me. Take some time off on the Citadel, Steve. It's a favor to me. Yeah. I find it very hard to say no to you, Shepard. 
as it should be. Huh. Oh boy. Gotta be very careful. Don't wanna give off the wrong signals. Hey, James. That Jack is a mean SOB. Yes, she is. Well, kinda hot. If you like that sort of thing. Oh, I think you do. <laughs> so, Anderson and Sanders. That's quite a couple. Yes, they cool. are. My dad's last name is Sanders. No relation. Huh. Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? No, I hear it too, actually. That... Just curious. I didn't miss anything when I was there, did I? Nope. Oh, but I have enough to actually get this. Hmm. Huh. I don't know. I could get this. 10% markup. I'm not going to... Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get the other discount until later on in the game. Hmm. It's a ton of stuff to get. But like I said, you're not going to be able to afford everything in this. So you have to be very careful about what you spend your money on. Blood Dragon Armor promo as a cross promotion for Dragon Age. Metagel capacity, which I don't need because I hardly ever have to use Metagel. So I can save money on that. Inferno armor. Hmm. Hmm. Get that. So it'll be lighter for my pistols. They'll be even lighter. So I've got 21 or two. I have 218,425 credits. <laughs> credits. Hmm. Yeah, it is credit. Yeah, it is credits. That's right. <laughs> Hmm. I'm gonna hold off, actually. As much as I want to use that as opposed to my other weapon, at the same time, I think I need some credits for some other things later on. I'm not completely sure. It's been a while, so I can't, so I, I don't remember. But if not, then I would definitely like to, you know, since, since I'm pretty much only gonna be using machine gun, uh, small machine guns and, uh, pistols as my only weapons I use uh, having the pr pr which is pretty much the best pistol in the game that's definitely gonna that would definitely make sense for me to at least have that so I think that's the best pistol in the game I'm not completely sure okay so let's see here's the un here's the only unfortunate thing about this journal the way it keeps track of your missions it doesn't really stay up to date. Like, it doesn't really, you know, you really have to, like, figure it out. Okay, yeah. See, it's like, it won't tell you if you already found it. You can just go ahead and take it back to him. So it's like, hmm, I don't really remember if I was able to do that or not. Hmm. Ooh, but I did find this, the Metagel formula. So I should go back to the hospital and give, and give this to... To that doctor. Alright, let's see, Orbit. Okay. Back to the city, though. Okay, Alliance Docks.
You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. The Citadel in all its beautiful glory. In all its beauty and wonder. Let's see. Yep, sorry scientist. And Dr. Rabin. Ha, huh, I have something for her, too. I found this metagel formula and figured you could make good use of it. Where did you find this? Never mind, it doesn't matter. Yes, we can put this to good use. Thank you. That's right, I got that for when we were doing the other uh, N7 mission at the Cerberus lab. I overheard you talking. Grissom Academy is gone, but I found this while I was there. What is this? Yes, these are tailored to human physiology, but with a few alterations, they should work for the Asari as well. Nice. This is exactly what I needed. Thank you. Okay, is there anybody else I need to see while I'm here? Let's see. Oh, Cortez, he's there. Alright, so I guess he is taking some time to relax. Hmm... Kelly is there. I'm not really sure though if I, if there's like a conversation if, or if she just kind of says, oh hi, good to see you. Hmm. Well, I'll go see Kelly first and then I'll uh, see Cortez before I head back to the Normandy. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Let's see. Please select Hold the destination. Her. One moment, please. at Dogging Bay E-24, Emergency Civilian Housing. Huh. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I need to apologize to you. Oh? About what? What for? Back when I was your yeoman, I betrayed you. I didn't mean to, but I did. Huh? What are you talking about, Kelly? I would send reports to the elusive man about the emotional state of the crew, including everything I knew about you. Well, I thought we that were doesn't really surprise me. That's kind of what That you're... I was helping you, protecting you. But looking back... It's okay. I mean, yeah. Uh, at the time, it's like I kind of expected that. So it's not really that big of a shock I would think that maybe you would have been doing that so it's okay don't worry about it you were there for me and I kind of liked you keeping a close eye on me <laughs> ever the flirt <laughs> and I kind of enjoyed looking <laughs> thank you that means so much to me commander so many here had to leave loved ones on their home worlds to try to comfort them but I know what the Reapers are capable of huh okay so that was so that was just it from her. According to the council, these galaxy-wide attacks are part of a massive and organized invasion plan. The council called you. Okay. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select the destination. One moment, please.
Ah, these loading screens <laughs> take way too long. Now arriving at docking bay D24. Keeper. Listen, honey. There he please. is. This is how it has to be. Everyone's going through this. I know, and I'm sure you'll be fine. It's just so damn inconvenient. It's like we're pre-space flight all of a sudden. Pretty much. You should see what they've got us using for heavy munitions. It's all mass-produced Elcos combine crap. Wait, munitions? Explosive munitions? I thought you weren't going to be on the front lines. Not in hot combat zones, no, of course not. But sometimes, they need us to breach enemy fortifications. Goddess, you said you were just going to be building emergency outposts. Aww. Ah. So sad. You finally made it off to Normandy. Glad I did. Even with the chaos of all the refugees, seeing so many ships in flight is comforting. Gets me thinking. Hey, a Turian frigate. I think that's the PFS Havenkov. What's one Turian warship doing at the Citadel? Looking for dry dock, I bet. She's seen battle. Look at the waiver in her drive core emissions. Alone, limping, looking for a haven. Maybe it would have been better to just go down fighting, like their families back home. Are you talking about the Turians or yourself? Are you talking about the Turians or yourself? I just said that. I should have been there. <laughs> I honestly problem. didn't think he was going to say I'm the exact same you thing. <laughs> You'd be dead, and we'd never have met. Yeah. Well, that's the one good thing from all this. I'm glad to serve with you, Shepard. We need to survive. The lives of future generations rest on those Turians' shoulders. On our shoulders. Nobody is giving up. Not those Turians. Not me. Not you. If anyone can pull this all together, it's you. And I'm with you. Is that an Alliance cruiser? What's it doing here? That's the SSV London. Decommissioned years ago. Look, no guns. Huh. Refugees must have salvaged her from a shipyard. Geneva-class cruisers always had ESO cores like granite. People find a way to survive. Do whatever it takes to see another day. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Gotta let go. For real this time. The refugees here have put up a memorial wall. They leave mementos yeah, of lost it. loved ones. I was thinking maybe... What's stopping you? Nothing. I mean... Let me think about it. Alright. Okay. I'm trying to think about what, what, what to do next. Hmm. I'm, I'm gonna check... When I get back to the army, I'm going to check the galaxy map to see if there's any new systems that have been unlocked. To see if there's anything I can uh, scan. And if not, I think what we might do next, we might do the Sirkesh mission. Or we could go after Garno. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll decide probably, you know, by the time I get to the next part.